Hi, my name is Sam Sloan. I thought I would share another video with you. Those seem to have been going down pretty well just recently in regards to Jamboard. I've been getting quite a lot of questions uh, about Jamboard since I shared the last one with you. So, one of the things that I thought when I was sort of playing around with the Jamboard was how can I get my slides so it looks exactly the same as it does when we're, let's just say, in session, for instance, in a um, an, a normal online session, how can I get them to look exactly the same? Can I copy and paste, for instance, my slides into Jamboard? So I started to play around a little bit. So this is what I found. So let's just say that this here is our session <coughs> that, of course, we are working on. So this, just for instance, is your four social styles, for instance. Obviously, it's not full screen at the moment. And we would then may maybe move into uh, just a simple whiteboard activity in, I don't know, normal Zoom, for instance, or WebEx. But then the question here, how do you recognise each style and what approach would you need to take to coach each individual style? Effectively, for instance, this would be a flip chart activity in a face-to-face, -face, or maybe even a breakout room in an online session. But I've got four slides. So I thought, well, how am I going to do this? So I moved to the Jamboard. So what I then did was I created a brand new Jamboard, as we had a look last week. Literally brand new Jamboard, opened that up and I've just renamed it Snip of Slides. So we've got a plain blank Jamboard here. I've also though, if I flick back to my slides, let's just say it's this particular slide here that I want to obviously use. So I would take my snipping tool for instance, let me just bring that into the screen just so you can see it. There we go. Snipping tool. I've opened that up. I'm going to click on new. I don't want it over there. Just let me move it there a little bit. And then I'm going to take a snip of that particular slide. And then that is our snip. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to save that into my files, just like, like I would do normally. For instance, I don't know, I can go into there. I'll just name it snip just, just to, for now, just so we can kind of play around a little. I want to click save and then once I minimize that and bring back up my Jamboard, I now can load in the picture. So I'm going to go to add image on that left hand bottom corner. This is a brand new Jamboard and I can then select that particular document from where it is that I've just saved it. I think I called it snip, didn't I? There it is. Oh, there it is. Probably a similar one, ST, so it's probably the same one. Just to op click open on that one. And then that brings that particular snip of that slide into the Jamboard. So I move it off into that corner, make it full screen, just recenter it so it looks all pretty and nice. And then when the delegates go into their breakout rooms, for instance, they can actually work simultaneously on all of the different Jamboards. So let's just give you an example just before I kind of move through into uh, the one just to show you. So if they wanted to then write on this, they can click on the sticky note here, uh, I don't know, whichever colour they want to use, um, and then just type the answer. Click save, and then of course they can reposition how you recognise that style and what approach you need to take, for instance, to coach them effectively. And you can do this with any, any at all of the slides um, one thing though to watch with this, I clicked on the slide just by mistake and I thought, oh, my sticky notes disappeared. Oh no, what am I going to do? I've lost it. No, you haven't. Just click back onto the sticky note, just cancel that back off and then all of the sticky notes are there. It's only if you click onto the slide. So if I click onto the one that I prepared earlier, shall we say. So I've input all of these slides then. So between the different breakout rooms, I've just put a gap slide. So all I've done here is I've just dropped down from the very top. Uh, I've named it which one it is, module two, breakout room for instance, and then all of my separate slides are on here. So things like your fiery red, your sunshine yellows, your earth greens, and your cool blues for instance. And what I'm then going to do is I'm going to put four groups into breakout rooms and they can then work on, I don't know, just for two or three minutes on slide number one for instance, or in this particular case this would be slide number 11. 
So group 1 could go in there, group 2 could go into group 12, group 3 could go into 13, group 4 could go into 14. After a couple of minutes, they can rotate. And I can see where they are, just like I showed you in the last video, because their little icons would appear above each slide, so I can see where each group is and where they're working. I just thought it was a fantastic way of bringing the PowerPoint to life in Jamboard and it's really simple just by using your snipping tool and then just bringing it straight back into Jamboard as well. I do have one question though that I've not been able to find, let's see if anybody else can. I can't seem to find how to rename the delegates, the people that join the Jamboard, the little icons that they get, I don't know, anonymous badger or something, everybody seems to be named an animal, I can't seem to find how to rename them, maybe you could help me, which would be absolutely fantastic if you could pop it in the comments below let me know how you get on with this how is it that you can bring that jamboard even more to life than you already are and let me know how you get on have a fantastic day